everyone welcome back to my channel I'm gonna finish this layout with you today I had started it and then I realized that I should probably just be making a video because well if I don't what will I have for YouTube so um I had made a page earlier in the week using um, a corner of this yellow paper and this orange paper and I made a um, hourglass type theme for a challenge so as you can see they're each cut so I just glued them together to make this because I had this really big dinosaur and I think it's I'm not real sure I don't know if it's like a wall sticker or what it came on a pack from the dollar store that I've had forever because my son used to be really into dinosaurs so I thought this would be a perfect time to get it used it, had, it was sitting up there in my little scrap in my little um, embellishment bin, which is just all of this that I have in orange and yellow and some various other things. Uh, I opened up another kit and because today is February 29th, I don't know when it will be when I'm filming this, so I don't know when it'll be when it, when, what day it'll be when it uploads, but, um, and I have... I'm getting ready to not have I'm getting ready to dismantle what's left of my large February kit in preparation to make a new one um, when the challenges are posted and the prompts um, I pretty much used everything in the kit there was I mean other than the items that like I put um, a whole pack of sequins and such in there. I, you know, obviously didn't get all those used up, but I did get some use out of them. Um, I did use all the doilies that were in the kit, so I grabbed another one. I'm just, like, really excited about how much, how many layouts I got done in February. Um, I gotta count those up, because I gotta, today I've gotta finish, uh, at the end of the day I've gotta finish the, um, I'm gonna film my second part of my layout share for February. I've already done one that's already up on my channel. Uh, along with this little dinosaur, they had these little footy prints. Um, this was one of those page kits that I put together at the end of 2019 using all of my scraps. So I have like the, the rolling drawer system and it's color coded. And so in each color, you know, like I have an orange drawer, a yellow drawer, a green drawer, and the drawers are actually that color. So I just threw the scraps of those colors in there. So all of these were, um just scraps that I had grabbed so I was trying to use up which I did I was very successful in using up most of those scraps from those drawers when I did those color those page kits I inked the edges in the um, Ranger just Tim Holtz distress oxide in sparse spice marmalade I can't talk this morning and I am Letting my son sleep for a couple more hours, so I figured I'd get in here and get some work done, get my um, Do It Yourself Sunday series video done. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm still working on that. Um, because my soon-to-be hubby will be home at about noon today, and I have no idea what our plans are. So, and since he's not getting home till Saturday afternoon, that means he will be home until Monday night, so I will not be filming the rest of the weekend, which normally he leaves on a Sunday, so I get all of my filming done um, Sunday. After he leaves, I get it all done for the week, and I don't really know if the parrot goes, per se. Um, so yeah, this one is a little bit of, I had put it together because it was orange and uh, I had a lot of pages from left over from when me and my son went to Tennessee in 2018 and me and my fiance, we went to Tennessee at the end of 2019 to see a Saints football game. So I'm going to dig into those and... I think I'm gonna make a little mini album. I mean, there's not a lot of kits, so as far as mini album, it will be a couple, it'll be very small. And I think I'm gonna do the, hey, what, I'm gonna, I'll have a video on that later. Um, my dogs are playing because they're feisty and they're getting up. Um, so we'll see. Trying to figure out what I can get on this layout. I don't know why I threw that back. 
so I'm going to get some of those. Probably not even going to be a mini of them. It's probably just going to be... Um, just a couple layouts to get done, but I have all these, um, is that orange? Yeah. All of these Tennessee items and I would like to get them used up. So I'm looking for, so I've got some green in here. I've got a little mixture of everything going on in here because, um, well, because I've got, I've had so many page kits opened up this month just trying to you know get through some stuff which has been so exciting I had participated in the load to 20 challenge for the month of February and today is the last day so I'm also going to be uploading this as my last layout for the day and I am so excited because I had a lot of fun and um, I got well, I got definitely one layout a day. That what does that say? That says splash. That's not gonna work. Um, and then some. So I mean, I got a lot of um, layouts done, which I also have to sort and file later today as well. But I'm waiting for you guys. Come on, I'm waiting for my son to get just a little bit more of his sleep, and then I will be waking him up so that we can clean the house and get everything done um, but as you can see these are a lot of the Tennessee stuff so I'm going to definitely need to um, oh, get some of that done and yeah so I've had an interesting month, and I feel like it's definitely going out on a good note. Um, so I probably won't get any scrapbooking done the rest of the weekend. So just this morning, it's very early, and I am taking full advantage of it. So see, here's my little note card. I was Tennessee trip, Saints versus Titans, and add Tennessee paper. So that was my note. And then I've got these little travel stuff. So definitely need to get in there. And I'm gonna think about working on some other things today. But definitely gotta there's a lot of stuff I gotta do in here still. So um yeah, it's so, okay. I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna roll that over. I still have my spice marmalade out because I am going to ink the edges of these things and I'm going to trim this down because it still has a little bit of the remnants of another piece of paper that it came off of, and I have no idea where this came from. Um, these kits were all put together using my stash. Um, there were no new items at this point had been brought into my craft room, and after I put together about, I don't know, there were several page kits, which I have broken to them so much that I am happy to announce. That I will be needing to make more soon and I had a couple of subs um, message me and want to know how I put my page kits together which I can do videos but right now there are several videos um Nicole Jones 911 uh, she is just currently she's putting kits together so I would go ahead and I would check out her YouTube channel I know that um, Shannon from She's Crafty is putting some page kits together. I would also check out her video. So I don't think right now that I'm going to be doing like page kits. So it's just giving you guys some good options to um, go check them out because, you know, they're really, really good at that. So I just randomly grab stuff and it's kind of therapeutic for me just to sit in here and not scrap. And just play with this stuff um, kind of helps me get inspired and you know do this you know like Nicole Jones does and think of things as I'm putting them together um, and obviously like this kit was made to make several layouts so I'm using my um, Saddler fine liner brown that's a dark brown to outline this 
And I'm kind of going, I know the diagonal is this way, but I'm kind of making the diagonal go in, in that way. Um, so the diagonal goes from left to right, but I'm doing the embellishments from right to left, just kind of to change it up a little bit. Um, get that down. And I will just grab some randoms over here and see what we can get made. Um, I need to trim that off a little bit. But yeah, so I kind of like, so I've got, this will be the second layout that I get out of this little orange kit and I'm hoping to get at least three more. So this, uh, this is such an old picture. I mean, to me it's old. It's from December 9th of 2014th, which was my son's 13th birthday. And while he was at school that day, um, I, we went and we bought him a new bed and a recliner for his room. And so I literally went through the entire room and took everything out and cleaned it like super great. So when he came home from school, he had an entire new bedroom and that was part of his birthday celebration that year. And he was like super stoked. So I was happy to do something fun for him. Um, you know, because he didn't have any idea. I mean, he had got toys and stuff as well or whatever. I don't know what he was into for 13, but giving him more of a, because he was a teenager, so we wanted to give him more of a teenager vibe room. So, just a little bit there. And I've popped this up on some foam tape. I probably need to, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Oh, and this one is like a remnants of one that had sticky back on it. And I have no idea where I got it because none of my other um, foams have sticky back. There's only a couple sheets because I tend to not use them. Um, I prefer to use... Uh, just the cheapo dollar store um, ones because they work best for me. And also I'd like to thank everybody who participated in my subscriber prize giveaway and I will be um, I will be drawing tomorrow and I'm posting the video so that um, I had hit 50 subscribers last week so that was my goal um, basically that was kind of my goal for like the first half of the year and I am sitting a little over 60 right now so I'm super excited I'm participating in a, a YouTube hop this morning or the today so I had my video already ready to go which I had some of my, my lovely friends see I'm right who helps me. Thank you so much, Sam. <laughs> that explains to me a little bit because I'm still very new to YouTube and the functions somewhat elude me sometimes. That is why I don't do voice voiceovers yet because I just, just haven't quite figured out what I want to do with it. Like, like if I want to do that, like so far I think this has been working. I mean, um, guys let me know if you think I need to do voiceovers and maybe edit my videos down a little bit but I try to keep them you know relatively short and by relatively short you know under 30 minutes there are some that goes over because I can't see my camera um it's actually my phone while I'm filming so you know that's interesting right all right, I have no idea what these little splatty bits thingies are, but to me they kind of look like little splatters. So I'm going to try that. Mm. I guess I don't really know what this is. I think it came from like a, I don't know, 
going to put this back over here. Not real sure just yet. All right, we'll put that back over there. Um, I wanted that just to, because it's got pink. So I want just the family part. Let's get a stupid this little guy under there. Thinking probably can get these both on there as well. I don't know if I need them both, but I think we need some brown maybe up here because there's brown down there. Let me just, oh, of course it's going to be stubborn. Just let that peek out. So. But yeah, got a lot of stuff used. Um, I have broke my spending freeze. I've been on a very, very long spending freeze for quite some time. And I have broke it to bring more supplies into my room so that I can better YouTube for you guys. Um, and also... Uh, I needed some items. So, I'm trying to figure out what a good title will be for this. I'm thinking. You know, it's going to rip that doily. I'm not really digging that. Maybe we can get it down here. And those are just some cheapo stickers, so I have actually decided I'm probably going to have to um, go back and... For the most part, I try to stick as many of them down with tape or adhesive or glue. And I do have to admit that I am kind of sad that the load challenge is over now. I mean, it really, really, honestly, it motivated me so much to get all my scrapping in. Like, you know, I'd get up. Um, I tend to be an early riser and not so much of a late night owl. So I... Uh, I tend to get up very early and start scrapping um, when I get up. So that's about 4 o'clock in the morning, um, central time. So that's, and you know, I get in there and I was doing my, there was several, like, you know, different things and I would get all my comments made and I would get my video or my photo uploaded and you know talk on a couple of the forms and then um, upload my video for YouTube and I would get probably I could get about two layouts if I felt good enough if I felt like doing it two layouts start in the morning before I absolutely had to you know, get ready for work and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and make this little thank you a banner. Um, this was really funny. I got this. This is actually off a fragile handle with care um, sticker from my work. They had created those. Um, I host a chili cook-off at my work each year for the United Way campaign to raise money for the United Way of Greater St. Louis. And... Um, uh, they do a lot of like, you know, messing with each other and stuff. So on somebody's, they had stuck the fragile sticker, like, you know, toxic material and stuff. <laughs> and so I, I was like, oh, you know what? I could use a couple of those just to, um, for an orange, orange embellishments. So... 
All right, so what I want to do is because it's going to be a little hard like, to do my spacing on this, I want to, um, uh, I want to take this off and it's not wanting to participate with me. It doesn't want to play. Um, come on. There we go. Um, and I will just. line them up in that so that it is so that the spacing is good see then I have this little guy left over we're just gonna we're just going to tuck him in somewhere and make him part of something over here. Give it a little yellow element over here. And no one will know that was supposed to be with part of that, so shh, don't tell. Um, all right, let's see. I got a little balloon, and this was a birthday celebration. Like, then that kid, he just sat in that chair for, God, the rest of his life. Until it was like, all right, it's time to get rid of the chair because the chair, you know, smells like a little boy who has fermented in it from playing video games. That was before he was a hard car, a hard, hardcore, um, gamer. I couldn't think of the word. My poor little boy. So, and these, I love these little puffy stickers, and I have no idea where I got them, uh, but they don't stick. And over the years, I've because I've had them for so long, and I'm really just, like, using them up now, they have, like, bent up, but they are, like, the squishiest little foam, and I have hearts, too, but they're so fun. Like, I love um, puffies, but not my fave. But I do, you know, try to get them on there. I I love so many things. So I've been trying to put glue on because I've noticed that. And you know what? To be fair, you know, there's a lot of orange in the kit there for Tennessee. But we're probably only going to get a couple layout, maybe a layout out of it. Because I have been using a lot to get these couple done. Now I'm trying to decide. I think I'll put my title here just to tie it all in. Um, I think of a title. So I'm still thinking, I'm still trying to like figure out what I want for a title because I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I think this would be Stubborn little star. Also super excited because Calvin Ball is starting up again over on the scraphappy.org website, which is who I just participated, the um, organization that I did to participate in the load challenge, which was so much fun. Um, so I really honestly can't wait to see what she comes up with for Calvin Ball. And... I'm thinking I'm going to use this as my title. Just being me is fun because, obviously, just me and him is a blast. That's what I always say, though. It's fun just to be me. So, all right. And we got some beautiful orange enamels. So, we'll get those all around. And I tend to stick with the three, three, and three. So, I'm gonna have to get some more enamels. All right. Um, I think since I've been like so into <clears throat> I've been putting a lot of mixed media. So this is the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Mustard 
but I say it looks it looks more like orange to me so I don't really know I don't know what kind of mustard high swaps company is eating but my mustard Joe is yellow but yeah just to give it a little bit more onto that background paper I'm gonna get some of that on there and I'm going to also splatter my whole wall like <laughs> this is where I keep my stamp chamois uh, which I'm not I don't know what it, it's not the stamp chamois it's something else I got it at Tuesday morning <laughs> I keep it in that coffee cup and it's like splatted up it's crazy fun and we're gonna use the, the color shine and tea so brown I couldn't decide if I like and I'm still on the fence. Um, if I like the color shine, the Heidi Swap color shine, or if I like the delusions, because I have the brown, which I use a lot of, and and the color shine, and the black, and the delusions. So, but that doesn't have any like shimmer to it. Okay, so wait, I gotta put this to the side real quick. I've gotta get. splats all right so let me know what you think thumbs up if you like the video and if you like the page and go ahead and hit that subscribe button below I have been posting one layout a day um, go check out the YouTube hop that I am a part of over on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel and also um, check out the other ladies that have participated and thank you and have a nice day Bye.